Well, folks, in today's video, we're going to be working on this AHM Union Pacific FP45. This was uh, sent in about a month ago from a viewer. It doesn't run. It seems to have a short circuit for whatever reason, which is sort of an unusual problem for a locomotive like this, considering the whole body is made of plastic. But in any case, we'll get to the bottom of whatever that is, and hopefully we can get this thing riding the rails once again. Anyway, let's get started. I'm going to take it over to the track just so I can show all of you what it's currently doing and then uh, we'll crack it open and see if we can find the problem. So for anybody who hasn't seen the test of this locomotive, this is sort of what the situation is. You put it on the track, give it some power, it doesn't move, and uh, immediately high current draw. So there's a short circuit somewhere inside. Could just be a couple wires touching. It could also be something wrong with the motor. I don't know which, but we're gonna find out. So to open this model up, we've just got four tabs on each side. So we'll start, I guess, by just lifting off this side and hopefully it will all come apart. All right, and here we are inside. So far, uh, everything looks really clean. There's nothing really obvious, but you know, you never know if somebody tried to rewire something or what the case is, but you know, there's a there's a problem. So I've been having a look over this drive to try to figure out what the problem is because all the wiring on it looks quite all right, so there's nothing too suspect. This is the only area where the wires get kind of close, so this is where I was having a look. And if you look really carefully, it might not even show up on camera, but it looks like some parts of this wire are touching this metal strip, which is obviously holding power from the other rail. So if we remove that, we might be able to get this thing going again. I might just try actually bending this contact up. Let's see if that fixed it. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Well, that would seem to have been our short circuit issue. The drive is still not running great though, so I'm going to uh, go through and service everything. But at least we've got that problem out of the way. So the first thing I want to attend to is the commutator. These are kind of one of the weaker points of these old AHM locomotives. They get dirty really easily. And uh, I guess it's just because they made the gaps a bit smaller in comparison with other manufacturers, but I find that uh, these can get uh, full of carbon and uh, develop pretty severe arcing issues. Well, that looks like about a thousand dollars. I figure we may as well clean the wheels too. Well, those are looking quite a bit better in my opinion. You might have noticed that I only cleaned four out of 12 and that's just because there are actually only contacts for four wheels on these locomotives. AHM uh, kind of cut corners when uh, it came to electrical pickup systems for these locomotives. You know, they were trying to make them on a budget and uh, they're not horrible engines in my opinion, but that's just one of the places where uh, they did kind of skimp a little bit. And uh, it's too bad because if they had put uh, even uh, just two more sets of contacts, these engines would probably run quite a bit better. It's not inconceivable you might be able to add an extra set of contacts on these, but yeah, they're never going to be the best runners anyway, just due to the type of motors they were putting in them. We're now going to uh, open this thing up and just lubricate the drive. It should be pretty simple. Just get a flatheads under this clip right here. And, well, I actually already loosened that one enough apparently to get it off. And just uh, tilt this back, slide the cover forward, and we're inside. You always want to check to make sure everything is really clean. Quite often bits of hair and things like that can get wound around the wheels, but uh, this one's looking really good. So I think I'm just going to put some oil in it. Nothing too fancy, just a bit of basic uh, maintenance to keep this all running smooth. 
or at least as smooth as it can be. And then to get the coupler back on, slide this front part back over. Take your coupler, make sure this part's on top. Piece of cake. And now we'll just do the one on the other side. Well, I'm pretty confident we've got this whole thing working properly now and it's all cleaned and lubricated. So why don't we put the top back on? We can take it over to the track and take it on a little test run. Maybe even have it pull a few cars around the layout just for kicks. All right. This might be one of the few times on this channel where I actually am pretty confident the engine's gonna start right off the bat. I mean, uh, it already kind of ran earlier, so it should be, in theory, even better. Now, let's give it some power. Yeah. Right on. Now, the cleaning and uh, oiling seems to have really smoothed it out. Let's try to see what the low speed's like. Well, it's cogging pretty badly, but it's not stopping. Well, I went and found some cars for this thing to haul around, so let's let it do just that. Well, folks, I think that's going to be about it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. I know it was one of the more simple ones I've done on the channel, but I personally still enjoyed it, and I hope all of you did too. If you happen to be the person who sent this locomotive in, uh, thanks a bunch. I still haven't figured out whoever exactly that is, but in any case, it was a generous gift, so thank you. Anyways, with that, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching.